Hey guys, it's Kyle again, and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2 Season 4. Today we're checking out the Blood in the Water variant for the cast of 545. It comes in the D7 sector of the Battle Pass. As you can see, it's just an item you can unlock in the sector. But yeah, we're going to get into some gameplay of this variant. I did actually hit a pretty good clip in today's video, so I'll stick around to the end. But yeah guys, if you are new around here and you enjoy these variant videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more. This is the class that I built around the variant. You can't normally see the stock on the vast majority of guns on this game, so so you can use any stock you want it doesn't affect how it looks from a first person perspective now the best thing about the cast of 545 is pretty much like the lackman 556 it's really good recoil wide this class it's not the best in terms of recoil control i tried to go for more damage range with the barrel and the muzzle but if you wanted to you could swap out the muzzle for if you wanted to you could swap out the suppressor for a muzzle that only increases recoil control but regardless this is the class i built around the variant so yeah this is the weapon tuning for the muzzle this this is the weapon tuning for the barrel this is the weapon tuning for the laser this is the weapon tuning for the optic and this is the weapon tuning for the stock so yeah that's the class guys and enjoy the video all right so this is what the variant looks like it's pretty decent looking variant it's the same design as the lab variant i don't expect people to watch a video based around an lab variant I've always been a fan of the Castle 545. It isn't that great of a gun. Compared to everything else, but it is, it does kill pretty quick. The average time to kill on the guns on this game is so fast that guns like this that actually are pretty decent. It feels like they just take so long to kill compared to other guns. I'm thinking I might put out another versus video on the ISO soon. Like, as of right now, I'm not even halfway through the Battle Pass variants, but thankfully, double XP. Oh, split quad. Split five on. Was that a 5 on or not? I don't think it was, but hey, we'll take that variant quad bead. I think, I think that at the end of this season, like, of the last Battle Pass variant video, I think I might announce my next big project. It involves hitting clips with so many different types of things, like guns and variants and camels. I have three big projects planned. One of them might not happen, depending on how late into the game's life cycle I get the other two projects done. Kind of need to pick up the pace and get more consistent. All the big projects I've ever done on COD, like the Quad D with every gun videos, they've all been flopped. The one with the most views is the Modern Warfare 2019 one. The Quad D with every gun video I've done, it's only got 100 views. And a lot of the unique videos I've done that I don't think anyone else has ever done on Call of Duty before. They've all been flopped. It's nice that I'm actually getting somewhere in terms of views, you know, compared to how I was years ago, but I'd like for videos that I've put effort into actually do better, but it, that that's just the YouTube game, so we'll see how it goes the rest of this game's life cycle. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more Season 4 videos, and I will see you on the next video.